okay, I've had great success. I got the nut off. That was actually not even tight for the steering wheel here. Put my three jaw on there. I thought, oh, maybe I should record this, and I didn't, and I should have. And started putting a bit of pressure to it. I just put the jaws right under the, the thingies here, and then it just, boom! I'm like, oh god, what a break! But it actually come loose. So that's good. But it's metal in there, so that was eh, not so good. That guy. And then uh, we can start working on this uh, shroud here, and we have to get this this guy off here. Hopefully that'll come off that thing all right. And these can probably stay here. I just have to get it up and out a little bit, which means I got to take this whole thing apart. So I got a bunch of bolts to do here. There's two in there, one here, one on the other side. I think there's two underneath there too. So I'll get those out, get her loose here, and then we'll uh, see about getting that throttle thing off. And then uh, this will have to come off, I guess, too. Maybe, maybe not. Those things might be all right there. They'll have wires, hopefully, long enough that it'll just kind of up them out of the way. I only need to get it back a little bit, and then we got to work on this tank. That'll be fun. All right, let's see if we can get this throttle off of here. Like I said, I think everything else should be all right where it is, hopefully. This thing, oh yeah, it's gonna come off, all right. I was worried for a second. I'm like, this thing's gonna be all seized on here. Now, I don't know if it matters where this goes back on, but just in case, I'm gonna mark it. Don't think it's gonna matter, but there we go is off okay everything else should be loose here enough that we can just get her down see what we got to get to get the tank off because i think i'm gonna have to clean this tank out is what my uh, thinkings are here holy smokes how does that come out of there what did i end up getting into here boys lot of something let me tell you it's a long bolt for this one same length I guess now, this is part of the frame so hopefully it comes up and out of there that would suck if it didn't all right I got a few more bolts here we'll get loose and then uh, see if we can get this thing out all right, we got her loose. Um, I have elected to uh, drain the tank out here. It's interesting to see if we get any junk come out. Uh, just because I think I'm gonna have to drag this line all the way through and out. Because there's no way you can get under there to disconnect under the tank. So, hopefully I got enough room in my little bucket here. Seems like it's flowing better there now though, but there's definitely something in there. Probably some more of those little worm things or whatever the heck those, uh, whatever the heck they were. I'll let that drain out a few minutes here and, uh, boy, I wonder where I picked that up from. It's interesting because I got a filter on my thing. Unless it's broken through and it's just pumped it right out. I don't know. Good of, I guess. But, uh, fun stuff. We'll let that, uh, drain out. Hopefully I clean the bucket good enough I can just dump her back in after an interesting story here for you while we're waiting for this to empty out. Still going. She's getting uh, she's getting up there a bit. I got a little bit of room left, but uh, can't remember exactly who this guy was. I know he was in our tractor club, I believe. This is a few years back now, but he had a diesel tractor, uh, a lot older than this, like a really old one, and uh, he couldn't figure out why. It would only run for like five, ten minutes, and then quit. Boom, done. It's like, what the heck's going on with this thing? It drove him nuts for quite a while, you know. So uh, he ended up did what we're doing here, I guess. Took the tank off to see what the heck's going on. You know, it's everything was fine, flowing, and then all of a sudden it would stop. So he took the tank off, and what he dumped out was a little one of those protector caps off of like the bottle of the 
injector cleaner stuff somehow fell in there. I think it was actually aluminum, a little aluminum cap thingy. And it got, you know, moving and then traveled. And I guess after it sat a bit, it moved away enough with enough seat through it, it would run again. And then this cap, cap kept getting sucked down onto, you know, onto the thing there, right? So it's like, what a nuisance that was. But uh, he ended up figuring his problem out, which is good. I'm not too sure if that's what's going on with this one or not, but something's fishy with it, that's for sure. I think it's just got some goop in it from the tank, from pumping the fuel into the tank here. But uh, holy smokes, I didn't think there'd be this much in here. I might have to go get another, another little jar or jug or something here. Still flowing pretty good. My goodness. Should have got one of my yellow yellow cans I guess but um, I got a little bit of room left there not a whole lot though I'm interested to see if there's anything in the bottom that might have got sucked through that was a little blurb of something to come out there did you guys see that there's something come out there let's check in the bottom after get her into the Sun where it's nice and bright and looking through all this stupid dyed stuff they put on this terrible terrible stuff but uh, it seemed like little worms like gooey worms but that towel I now reused it but that towel that I dumped that out out of that separator they actually kind of dried up and shriveled up to pretty well nothing it's kind of interesting this has got to be just about out soon here holy smokes I should uh, hook up those hoses and, or those lines and turn it on just on and see what's left well it was showing right off the bottom so anytime hopefully here soon she'll quit for me here my goodness, I'm going to have to pour this back into a can to dump this back in here. I'm going to need a little bit back in there after to swoosh around and then dump out the cap. Hopefully something comes out. I better go down and get a can maybe. I got uh, yellow cans down there just for this purpose. Alright, we are dumped into the yellow jug. And I didn't really see anything in the bottom of this thing that was really puzzling looking. So, I mean in the bottom of this bucket. Something was stopping flow there. It was uh, barely dribbling out before, you know. Like So that was definitely what was happening. It was starving it for fuel. Starving it. I was starving, you know. Starving for fuel. And believe it or not, this... this I guess it's a return line going up here and then it's supposed to go up onto the top of the tank over here. I got it up here. It's still like tripping. Got the engine all wet there now, but holy smokes. I guess when the gauge is right to the end, you still got probably about half an hour of fuel left there. They really get you worried. Oh geez, I'm running out of fuel. So you don't actually run out of fuel, but because I checked the gauge before I started this again and it was like right I've never seen it that low so it's like right down holy smokes anyways we'll let this drain out a little more here and uh, see if we can pull this tank out wow it's finally dripping holy smokes that took forever anyways we'll let that dribble a few there and I got a bolt I'm gonna try to stuck on there so it'll maybe keep it from dribbling too much but look who's coming by here Paisley hi Hi, beautiful. You want to say hi to everybody? You want to go sit? Have a sit. I know my gloves don't smell good. Paisley. Paisley, sit. Have a sit. Not yet. Maybe a little bit. Have a sit. Paisley. Sit. Just learned it yesterday. Good girl, baby. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> She's got lots sit. to learn. Have a sit. Good girl. Jeez, this stuff feels weird feels weird. Oh, I don't want to pet you because I'm all kind of gross. What are you digging up? Who knows out here, eh? All right, let's see here. Still dribbling a little bit. Maybe if we... Uh, that's pretty much empty, I think. Jam this bolt in here. It might slow it down a little bit. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing pulled out of here now. Oh, boy. I don't know what else is going to be attaching itself to uh, whatever here, but... Uh, but uh, 
This is not going to come out nice. I can just tell. <laughs> Hose guided through, but I can't do. Uh, you were all here myself, I don't think. Now, how on earth did they get this in here without taking off this whole bar? Because that's what I'm seeing. It's going to be interfering with this. It's like a, a support bar thing, and that goes like way down to the big subframe that's underneath the tank here. Like, I don't want to take all that off. Now, yeah. did drop a little washer. Grab it. Uh, boy, this bar is gonna be in the way. Just the way the, sh the tank's shaped, it goes to the back like that. Isn't that awful? Uh, how on earth that'll flex back a bit not enough <laughs> Oh, I just got to get it past this bar thing here. It seems to be in the way. And that little clip thing on there won't help much either. <sighs> now, if I get this air cleaner tube out of the way, get this one. A bit more. Must be strategically placed in here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's this stupid little clip here, I think, that bugger me up here. Oh, well, we can get the hose out maybe here. That'll help a bit. getting that all routed back down through there too. Okay, the hose is out. Success! Wow, that was strategically placed. All those angles, all those bars and the shape of the tank oh my goodness okay I don't know if I'll be able to get you down here to see but I see oh it's gonna be too much of an angle I think mm. no I can't get you down in there um, down over here though <laughs> There's a couple of leaves I've seen down in there, so that's not good. I'm gonna keep looking here and see what else I can find. Well, what I can see down there is some leaves and a little bit of stuff all bunged up right under there. So, what's my plan of action now? I might... I'd like to wash it out. I don't know, I can't, I just can't get you down to where I'm looking at there. It's just too much of an angle. It's it's like straight down, but it's back like here where that comes out. But I also see some other stuff in there, so hmm. Well, down inside of here too is the float for the sender. Well, it's not a sending unit, it's just a level thing, but what I'm gonna do is put in some nuts and bolts. Hopefully I can get them all out of here again. Ooh, actually, you know what? <laughs> now that I, I feel this ridge, That might be really hard to get those. There's like a a ridge, and then hmm, well that I didn't expect. I didn't want to see that. There's like a funny ridge under here. 
And this thing is just the overflow thing that sends right the side of the tractor instead of all down the front. Not sure if I can get this off or not. I don't think that's going to really matter, but... Uh, yeah, they, they might come out. I'm going to try one here just to see how well it comes out again. <laughs> Well, it did come out, and actually there's some stuff that come out too. Now, what is that? I don't know. It looks, sort of feels like a leaf, but I don't think it is. Well, that one come out. Let's try again here. Yeah, maybe we'll be all right. I just want something in the bottom there to scrub around with some diesel fuel and then we'll dump her out into the pail. So, we'll uh, hopefully we can get them all out again. There's gonna be a lot of rattling. Well, it's gonna wash it out but I think I better just use diesel fuel. So hopefully that doesn't leak too bad on the hose end. We'll put a bit of fuel in here and then swish her around and then dump her back out, see what we get. All right, we'll uh, fill her up here a bit. I don't know if this is all going to come out nice though. I'm going to get this all squirted around here. I guess I better get my uh, better get my uh, pail ready too. All right, pail's ready. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Might might not. It might not come out again. Might uh, I don't know. loose. Boy, did we do good, boys. one in there. The one that doesn't want to give up. <laughs> hey. All right, let's have a look in the pail here. Let's see what we caught. Look at all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of Leafs or something down in there. See all that flaky stuff? Looks like we got a lot of root. Boy, that's pretty good. What the heck is it though? It looks like a leaf. Leaf parts. So much glare in here. Let's go. Uh, even here, is there still glare? Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Look at all the stuff we caught. Might do another flush here. Okay, we're going to try to filter this stuff through here. Um, I've got a paint filter in this thing right now. Should get most of the stuff. through this, pull out all the washers and stuff, and then uh, see what we got in here. Well, there's what we got out. Minus the stuff that won't come out, but I don't know, I guess it's, 
I'm going to leave it down there. We'll get a close in zoom of whatever the heck this stuff is. There's even an earwig in there. Holy smokes. So this kind of stuff, there's the earwig. Poor guy, he had no chance. This is uh, what was bunging off that uh, outlet. It's weird. It's like leaves, but... I don't know. It's like preserved them or something. Weird. I don't know. I, I don't know how they'd get in there. Like, I'm filling it up. Psh, done. Put the cap on. Gone. It's not like I'm standing there. Come on, Leaf. Get in the tank. We need you in there. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but I might give her just one more flush around there and see what we dump out. Well, there's nothing like dumping the little bucket out that we had our strainer go into, but anyways. So, just before I dump this, I want to make sure I can. How about we do it this way? I want to make sure that this is coming out of here all right. And it probably is. Yeah, that's good. Okay. While I'm in here, I should have really put some new fuel lines in too while I was here, but uh, uh, get this off. come out. A little bit more come out. Well, that's good. Only like maybe three little leaves. I don't know if you can see that down there or not. A couple little leaves anyways. Maybe I'll do it once more. And then we'll color good. I'll have a good looking side too of course. Take much to bump off the flow. That's a mistake of John Deere there. They should have had a little spout thingy, you know, bottom of the tank, a little spout thingy that was up so it didn't suck that stuff right to the thing. Yeah, I think we're good now. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna reassemble. I'm gonna have a quick look in there. I guess I better maybe do that now. I definitely changed my clothes after this. Oh yeah, we're pretty clean there now. Okay. All right, we're going to do a quick time video of reinstalling everything here because it's going to take me a few minutes to get it all in and it's going to probably be some cursing. Maybe. You never know. But anyways, here we go.
All right, well, I'm going to put in some fuel here now. Going back together pretty good so far. Once you know where everything goes, it's all mounted solid. Pretty good. This was tricky getting this bezel dash thing all lined back up because there's clips that clip down on the inside, and this one's good, and then the other one flips out, and uh, we've got her eventually, but... Uh, I'm going to dump some fuel in here just to make sure the gauge is working. And just... Just in case there's stuff in this, I'm going to run another screen filter. And it should be fine, but... Hey, you never know, right? So this will catch any of the junk. And then it doesn't go back in the tank because that would suck. Okay, how am I going to do this now? spout. Yeah, I have to reach in further then. Well, this was a little more involved than I wanted to get today, <laughs> but I think we got her cleaned out anyways. Spouts with the. Oh, these spouts are terrible. It's terrible. Okay, let's just see if that brings up the level. Oh, not very much. <laughs> this will keep going. Should be enough to get me down to the pumps, anyways. Now I'm wondering, well, I think it was all the leaves in there. I think those worm things were just kind of a culmination of years. I haven't dumped that out for quite a while. Let me just see if we got level coming up. Oh yeah, yeah, we're above, uh, above empty there now, so that's good. Now the part I didn't really want to look forward to putting the hood back on. Oh boy. Let's have a look in here and see if anything. Well, there was a little bit of stuff. That's a hair bit. I don't think that would have hurt much. Okay, this is not gonna be fun. Might have to get these back a little more. Although maybe we better fire it up and make sure it runs before we put the hood on. Let's fire it up. I think we're gonna be good. I think. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good. All right, well. We got to do here. Make sure that this has got to get attached into the into the. Into the uh, hood, a few spots and then up around the top and down into the lights. So that's got to kind of lay there until we ready for that. And that it's got to try to stay up. Uh, I wonder if I jam something under there just to hold that up while I get her kind of attached. Oh my god, this 
explosive can would work. It's covered in diesel fuel. That'll help. Okay, this isn't going to be fun, but here we go. Alright, well, I think we're back together. We've got the lights. Oh, it even, it even latches. Sweet. Alright. Wow. That was a lot more work than I was expecting on just a couple of filter changes, but hey, we, uh, we got her done. Make sure she still runs here after all this. Make sure the lights work. Holy smokes, that was a lot of work. Well, while we're here, I'll let that run a minute. Let's uh, go back here and we'll have a look at... Okay, <laughs> I thought it was going to quit there. We'll go back and have a look at the leaves. That's what I wanted to show you today too, how much it's compressed. Yeah, this was right to the top last night. Let me get this off of here. Mm. Well, that's compressed about a foot. You can see the pipe's bunged right up there, right? So well, it's compressed down quite a bit or just overnight. Nice. Dusty stuff. I ain't gonna need two hands for that one. Okay. But anyways, there we go. There we go. Well, hopefully I got no problems now, but now I can see why that was doing that. Definitely had a problem with those whatever was in there bunging up and slowing down the flow and it just kind of sucked her out why though it worked fine when i was running it would just run fine just i don't know it was weird but anyways i think we solved her sweet okay that seems like it was working pretty good there didn't hesitate or stall or nothing there so that's good uh idle it probably wouldn't but uh hey you never know right so uh i'm gonna let her sit for a bit and then i want to cut this open uh, and see what was inside of this thing if it was needing replaced or not. There's even another o-ring on the inside of the threaded area there. Holy smokes. Well, I don't know. Maybe that didn't need replaced. That's maybe all it was, but like I say, I've never done this one, so it's probably probably good to do it anyways. There might be full of worms. You never know, but we'll uh, cut her open in a moment here and uh, see what we see in there. What are you doing, girls? You out for a little meander? Oh, that's nice. All right, well, let's get this thing cut open here. They don't usually take too long to cut open. They're not easy to cut open at all, but this thing's so sharp at skipping around on me.
All right, minus the uh, <clears throat> that's pretty heavy plate stuff there. That's good. Minus the uh, uh, dust from the cut in there, the filings we'll say. That was uh, the spring and the filter media itself. This is pretty nice looking heavy duty filter media here. And uh, you know what? I don't think it's looking too bad. To be perfectly honest, I think it's actually all right. But we changed her anyways. Like I say, I haven't done it for a lot of years. So, but that's that's pretty good. I think that's like I say, the original one. So, it'd be interesting if I could get this apart. But this is probably well. There's little metal pegs there. One metal peg. I don't know if that's going to come off or not. I'm sure it's glued in there, but that's a fairly heavy, heavy duty looking filter. There's a lot of pleats in there. A lot of filtering, right? So that's from me cutting it, I think. I went through a little too deep and cut her a bit too deep. I'm not going to take her apart though. That's pretty good. These need to come off. There we go. It didn't even leak. Nice. So I guess all it was was that uh, crap that was in the tank. I probably didn't need to change those filters, but we did kind of need to service that uh, separator there. That was getting kind of kind of nasty. So we did. We got the stuff out of the tank, changed the filters. Like I say, that's the original. So that's good to see, though, um, that there wasn't much in that filter that we just cut apart here, other than the separator. There's a bit of stuff in there. I guess if you get any water, it should separate and settle into that thing. Um, and that's like the last before it goes into the injectors, right? So it was working good. That's good, but uh, I should get another one of those, put it in stock, because the 110 uses the same one, so it's pretty much the same, well, same oil filters and uh, those filters, and that separator's the same as on the 110. So well, there we go. All said and done. Back together and ready to rock for tomorrow. Awesome. So, anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we learned how to take the hood off and take the tank out and cleaned her all out and all good to go. Anyways, catch you later. You guys have a good day. Thanks again for watching. A little bonus for you today. Dylan's carving one of the big white pumpkins. Ooh, how do they look inside, Dill? Well, not too bad, eh? Yeah. It's quite orange on the inside, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and look at all the seeds. Look at the size of the seeds in here. <laughs> We'll have to save some of those, grow them again next year, I think. <gasps> this one already has a face on it, too. Look. Ooh, ooh, where are you? It's got a scary face on it. That's hilarious. See that one? <laughs> pretty thick. Those are, uh, well, there's his lid. The top, that's pretty thick. Did you do the big pumpkin? Yeah. It was like 80 pounds or 80, 80 and a half, I think. Wow. They've been sitting out here, you can see they, since we harvested them, they, you know, left marks on my grass, killing the grass, and they're still in good shape. Pretty thick stuff. Wow. So we got that one still. I think Billy wants to take one to the 12 gauge. Yep. Just for fun, maybe. Won't be doing that up here, though, because we're too close to the neighbor's house, but... And then we still got this other big one. I guess maybe Laura would want to carve it. I don't know. And then we got the two smaller ones here. And then the only Captain Jack we got. <laughs> the only Captain Jack. Yeah, we've had these harvested for quite a while. And they're still in pretty good shape. So that one was 78 pounds. Big feller. Yeah. But anyways, there we go. Just shot to show you that. And uh, catch you all later. You guys have a good day.